Buenos días, señoras. Buenos días, señores. Muchas gracias. Es un placer estar aquí con vosotros. Yo voy a cambiar para inglés porque <laughs> mi español no es así tan bueno. So, good morning. Thank you for uh, inviting me. So, it's my pleasure to introduce you aging at women. So, I, I should have a, a point or, or ah, here. Um, to introduce you Aging at Coimbra. So Aging at Coimbra is our uh, regional consortium dedicated to active and healthy aging, or healthy living and active aging. And it's a regional consortium in the central region of Portugal. Um, it's based on the quadruple helix, so it's a, an holistic consortium joining all the actors uh, dedicated to healthy living, because uh, healthy living and active aging is a matter of uh, human persons and is also a matter of uh, human per persons across the life cycle, so it's not specifically on, on aging, because we age, uh, the quality of aging depends mostly on how we live in, yo in younger ages and, and in young adulthood, so um, this is our focus. Uh, and actually, I found this picture very interesting. I took it in a, a, a monastery in, in Brazil, a Portuguese monastery at, at, at that time. And it represents very well the relationship between different generations um, um, and, and the way the different generations see the age per, per person. And um, actually, this paradigm needs, needs to change because uh, now, uh, and, and, and an old person is completely different from another person from many centuries ago because uh, now we have other, uh, I would say, education, other engagement in society, and obviously we need to engage this knowledge and benefit of the youngest in terms of transmitting knowledge and values because this is what uh, actually our societies are made of. So. Aging at Coimbra was uh, actually a bottom-up um, initiative started in, in 2012 uh, as a challenge from the European Commission to identify reference sites for active and healthy aging. And so the initiative was taken by um, five major institute in, institutions in, in, in Coimbra. So the University of Coimbra, the uh, Municipality of Coimbra, the uh, big university hospital, and also the primary care uh, network of the central region of Portugal and the business incubator, Instituto Pedro Nunes. So these five um, institutions, they also embed uh, somehow the quadrupelix context, so health, uh, government, care uh, institutions, so the academia, the industry, innovation, and the civil society. Because the cross-fertilization between these actors, it's what really make uh, best practices very powerful because they start from knowledge and high education and they deliver benefits through uh, the industry, the economy, creating jobs, but also better health care uh, and, and social care to people. And from these, um, these founder members, so we have uh, actually could also attract the interest of the regional authority, uh, the Comissão de Coordenação e Desenvolvimento Regional do Centro, CCDRC, which is really a huge support because it incorporates somehow institutionally the benefits of this bottom-up consortium. Um, and all the institutions uh, in the central region of, of Portugal that uh, act on these, uh, this uh, area were invited to join the consortium, and you see in different colors, different institutions along the quadruple helix that actually now uh, um, build these, uh, these consortium as uh, associate members. And these are, in fact, the actors that are in the, in, 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 in the field delivering uh, practices to support people in the region. So um, we are one of the 74 reference sites of EIP on HIA. Uh, we are, uh, have been awarded as a three-star reference site. And, um, and, the, and these reference sites, collaborative networks, so the reference sites, are really very important regional hubs for uh, innovation and dissemination of, of good practices. And so using these 
regional structures, we can really think on developing best practices to support people, but also to um, spread these best practices across Europe. Um, aging is really a big challenge, especially you, you see in, the, uh, in your right side, the last bar is Portugal, always <laughs> in the last <laughs> side of something. And here you see the expectations for 2016. In 2016, Portugal will face a major issue on aging because there you will be the percentage of older people, uh, older than 80 years old, will be much bigger comparing to the other uh, 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 countries in Europe, especially the ratio between older people and young adults. And so this means, at the same time, we expect a decrease in 40% decrease in natality. So this double aging process is a, a big challenge. Uh, and if we, if we are not care, uh, careful enough, so we will have a lot of older people not supported by uh, care providers and living somehow alone. Um, this is a, a big issue, especially because as we age, at least currently, we increase the number of multimorbid conditions. And so we become frail, we become dependent, and this is something that is very explosive. So many people depending on care um, and less people to take care of these uh, people. So we need to change the paradigm of uh, aging uh, from, I would say, uh, aging with chronic conditions to being uh, old but active and healthy. So, and uh, to become, yeah, so it is really important also to understand the multi dimensions multi -dimension of frailty. So, there is a, a need to really take care in a holistic way the uh, way we age. So, healthy brain, healthy body, and the environment, social and physical envi environment. And this, in the equilibrium of these different dimensions, that we, we can really uh, age uh, healthy or not. So with the support of the um, regional authority, we launch a, a regional co a context to identify best practices in the central region of Portugal. So mm, the first edition was last year. Today, uh, this year, we already run the second edition. And you can see here, so uh, actually this uh, context is divided into three different categories. One related with the knowledge, so best practices raising knowledge, relevant knowledge to support healthy living and active aging. Helpless, so uh, uh, good practices that focus on health, better quality of health, and also uh, uh, life plus, so good practices that support healthy living and social care support. And uh, for us, it's very um, interesting that uh, this year we received 144 proposals and uh, uh, three uh, proposals were awarded, one per uh, um, um, category. Um, and these proposals, they um, actually were emerged from 60% of the municipalities in the central region of, uh, of Portugal. So this means that in uh, six years, we could really engage the actors, the region is responding, and actually there is innovation going on in the region, and these innovations are now exposed publicly and disseminated to other adopters. Um, uh, yeah, so this is the, the, the picture of last year edition of the award ce ceremony. So we also benefit from the fact that we have a knowledge triangle in place, in Coimbra especially, which is an university city. So we have strong uh, research and uh, education hub, uh, uh, centralized mainly through the uni via the university, but other also polytechnic institutions. Uh, we deliver this uh, knowledge and high education to the uh, um, healthcare providers, to the social care providers, but also to the innovation uh, sector, to the business incubation, innovation, and uh, business creation. And this ecosystem allows us to join EIT Health, the knowledge innovation community, uh, European uh, consortium 
that actually uh, de is dedicated to promote entrepreneurship and innovation in healthy living and active aging, um, actually aiming at improving healthcare across Europe. So this is, uh, uh, in general, the, the, the alignment of the consortium. So it's made of uh, academia and industry with this idea of transforming uh, disruptive innovation in better uh, products and services. So <clears throat> these are some examples of projects that uh, uh, we uh, promoted in Coimbra through EIT Health just to see how we align research, universities and technology centers with providers, distributors, medical device, information systems, care providers, hospitals, pharmacies, buyers and intermediary institutions, governments, insurers, uh, users. Um, these are some examples. So Epidem Prev, Starship Training, Innovation in Healthcare, uh, Master, PhD, Transition Fellowships, Silver Entrepreneurship Courses. So this is mainly to train and to, um, to identify innovation from uh, the universities. And then projects that cross through providers, distributors, and care providers, boot camps, sweet home project and innovation projects, or uh, for instance, the, the CARE campus, which is an uh, online MOOC course across Europe that is uh, focused on training uh, social care providers across, well, worldwide, because it's delivered in English, it's an open uh, platform. I will give an example later. And uh, for instance, just targeting the, the market, the innovation days, or the Elix for Cities, a project for training citizens to become um, I would say, uh, to adopt healthy uh, lifestyles. I will also give an example of this. Another flagship project that we launch uh, is uh, the Multidisciplinary Institute of Aging, so MIA, MIA Portugal, which aims at become a research, excellence research center in uh, uh, healthy living and active aging. So this is a um, European project with a, a teaming with the, the University of Newcastle, um, University Center Medical Groningen, uh, with the, the partnership with the Mayo Clinic and Copenhagen University. And the idea is to focus or to discover new avenues for aging research and to translate this knowledge in advanced teaching to train a new generation of researchers and, and, and academics uh, and also innovation and technology transfer um, and also the translation to clinic uh, and to, 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 to clinical research. So this is the idea of creating knowledge and delivering this knowledge into the society via these pillars mm, uh, under the umbrella of the regional network aging at Coimbra. As, you see, uh, as I mentioned, Epidem Prev, oh, my time is over. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, it's just a, 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 a big uh, consortium for, for uh, innovation PhD uh, school across Europe. Uh, CARE, as I mentioned, is a, a, a program dedicated to train um, care providers. Uh, it's an online course, so this is an example of the uh, end life care uh, program that we just opened now and uh, actual registrations are available, uh, and it's free. Anyone can apply. Or the Praça Vida Mais, which is the, our project based on Elix for Cities, for training the citizen. Can, can you just click on the movie, please? And this is my last uh, minute, um, just to show you. So this was... Uh, actually is a program organized in a, center, a, a shopping center focused on engaging the citizens with uh, healthy lifestyles. So we develop a toolkit by joining a multidisciplinary team of experts using eight dimensions of healthy living. And this, uh, uh, this, this focus group develop a toolkit to assess healthy uh, lifestyles and so people were invited to assess the, how they are uh, adopting healthy lifestyles or not and we join this knowledge with technology local technology so local actors were invited to offer technology to this uh, toolkit and then we invite the citizens to interact 
with this toolkit and to, uh, uh, to assess how they are uh, performing uh, uh, well or not and provide them with recommendations to improve their healthy living. So, thank you so much for your attention.